a 525-year-old copy of a letter by Christopher Columbus, known in his Spanish or Portuguese name as Cristobal Colón, of course. It was mysteriously stolen from the Vatican and has been returned on Thursday after joint sleuthing by US Homeland Security agents and Holy See antiquity experts. Colette Luke from Reuters has more. A centuries-old copy of a letter by Christopher Columbus, stolen from the Vatican, has finally been returned. After a long investigation, it was traced to the widow of a collector in Atlanta, Georgia, whose husband had purchased the letter in 2004, unaware it had been stolen. On Thursday, U.S. Ambassador to the Holy See, Callista Gingrich, marked its official return to the Vatican. The letter's history dates back to February 1493. While at sea on his return to Europe, Christopher Columbus penned a letter known as the Columbus Letter to Spain's King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, describing what he had found on his voyage to the New World. The original was written in Spanish, but several copies in Latin were also printed, and one of those copies ended up in the Vatican Library in 1921. But sometime afterwards, no one knows when, it was switched with a forgery. An American expert identified the fake in 2010 and notified Homeland Security art investigators. We identified uh, at least three uh, forgeries that were located in libraries, including the Vatican uh, Library. It's, it, it takes skill. Uh, these, wh whoever was doing it was uh, uh, using um, a technique uh, that, that mimicked the leaf dimensions. The stolen letter's path is largely unclear, but authorities believe it eventually fell into the hands of infamous book thief Marino Massimo De Caro, who then sold it to a New York book dealer. Massimo is now serving a prison sentence for unrelated book theft crimes. But the letter, according to Ambassador Gingrich, is finally back with its rightful owner. Colette Luke there from Reuters.